Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, it's episode number 20, and I'm signifying that because you guys have stuck with me for 20 episodes. So, hell yeah! Round of applause for you guys this time. I appreciate that. 20 episodes, it is quite a lot. Um, the call eventually, it'll probably be 40 by the time this is over, so I guess if you're watching my series for the first time and you've started with season 5, thank you very much, thank you very much, um, <laughs> you're about halfway through, but welcome back, man, I hope you all had a great weekend, as you all know, I wasn't here over the weekend, the goal was to have a Minecraft and a Terraria and then a Minecraft and a Terraria over the weekend, but... I just got super busy, and I got busy in a good way, and when you get busy in a good way, you're like, well, I don't need to record today, I'll give that a break. Being busy in a good way is like the best thing, like, I went to like a food market, I had a great Mother's Day meal, it was ace, I got to see my sister's new house, so it was great, I had a great weekend, I'll talk about that more in a minute, but... I have been dreading this episode, I'm not gonna lie, because for the past few episodes, we've been trying to defeat Skeletron Prime. I don't know why I'm struggling with this boss so much, like, do you guys know if they changed it at all? I don't know if it's like my, just like, poor ability as a Terraria player, or it's like, they've buffed it and, and, and I'm bad at it. I don't really know, I feel like it might be somewhere in the middle. Um, if I was being honest. So, that being said, uh, we are going to do Skeletron Prime today. I really want to beat this fight. I'm sick of it. Truthfully, I'm sick of it. But, while I've been away, I did actually beat something, which I'm very proud of. I finally beat Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh my god. I've been talking about that game for about six months, and I only just beat it. And it was good. I, I actually really enjoyed it. It is a very repetitive game. That's just, that's the game. That's all Assassin's Creed's really. That's the truth. But if you like that kind of thing, you know, I liked it. You know, I, I don't need to sell it to you guys. I liked it. It was good. All right, so. We are uh, going to give this a go. I reforged everything to warding again. And I also added the frog legs. I got confused in the last episode because I read frog legs, but I also knew that frog legs were involved in the Moab. So I was like, oh, well, I've already got my frog legs. It would make sense why I, I was doing absolutely trash. Other than the fact that I am not that... Oh, I don't even have a Skeletron Prime summon. How could I have started this without the right summon? Well, let's try something else. Destroyer. We need to do that. Leviathan recommended using this spear and a golden shower. FBI, just want, just want to clarify, don't this, don't demonetize, it's a weapon, I swear it, but is it? Um, Cosmolite, and begin. Okay, so he says, this becomes easy mode. So I want to know if it actually is. Leviathan, you best not have lied to me. It's April Fool's Day today. I don't have an April Fool's for you guys um, in this video. I do have a plan for one, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Because I don't have the time. So I might save it for next year. <laughs> How exciting. I'm really glad I, I hacked you all up for a video in a year. Oh, But I don't think I'm going to get the chance to make it. But being April Fool's, I do like to say. I would like to say, rather. I really like April Fool's. It gets a bad rep. Because the jokes are obvious as, as all hell, right? Let's be real. Has there ever been a convincing... Um, April Fool's Day video? I don't think so. I really don't think so. But that being said, um, I find it enjoyable because, I don't know, it's a time for brands to be creative. <laughs> and so, you know, it's good in that way. Now, my favorite ones today so far, I'm doing trash at this point. <laughs> my favorite ones today so far have been, um, well, I've really liked the one from El Gato. El Gato did a Green screen spray can. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, haven't worked with Algato in the past. Good people. Good people. Uh, who else have I enjoyed? I enjoyed... I tried to, IGN released one where it was a Nintendo Direct video. And it was just spoiling like... It was just basically saying that every Zelda game was coming to Switch. That would have been amazing, right? Sadly not true. Disappointed. Um, but... For those skeptical out there... Uh, there's a great tweet. I can't remember who it was by. But it basically is like, 
I really like April Fools because it's the only day people are truly skeptical on the internet and I thought that's a really cynical way to look at life but it's correct. This fight is going not so well. I'm gonna continue on though and try and beat it. If I lose I'll edit it away, you know me. Uh, but I will keep going because uh, I'm dedicated now. And I also think if I carry on talking, I'm going to lose. I think I'm losing this because I just really want to chat. <laughs> That's me all over in it. Let's be real. All right. I lost. It don't matter. I need to get the Skeletron one anyway. So no biggie. Oh my god. I'm so close to finishing this. I'm sick of this fight. And I do not want to do it again. It's now on my top 10 worst boss lists. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I was so sick of that fight. That takes so long. That took like 15 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, now that it's done, we have Souls of Fright. This is actually what I've been, what I've been wanting. Um, it's the only reason I was like bothered about the fight is because I need my souls of fright I didn't mean to be such a rhyme master, but I'll take it. Um, so now we can make like <laughs> Some good stuff, right? We can make some good stuff. For example, we can make ourselves One of these bad boys. So the angel treads this will speed things up That's pretty cool um, We can also make Bunch of other stuff. I actually have no idea what we can make <laughs> because it's been a few days since I've like been on the world and stuff But I knew that there was things that we could make Let's see here. Pone hammer Sun god staff. Ooh, I did not know there was an upgrade to this That's kind of interesting. Summons a solar god spirit to protect you. Ooh, and you need one of these bad boys I don't think we have one of these but I am pretty sure I know where you get it from Sun we don't have a sun staff. I'm pretty sure you get it from the first boss fight. You just make it? Okay, cool. Uh, I guess I'll make one of these. Why not? Do I have any of the uh, the essence? Ah, that's a good point. I don't think I've been collecting essence. I don't know if you, I can get essence. Can I get essence? Ah, yeah, cool. All right. Um, let's put a bunch of these in here. So we don't have to use them anymore. And what's this summon called again? Um... It's called the Sun God Staff. Sun God Staff. Nice. Okay, so that's our first new weapon. And then let's have a little look at these Souls of Fright again. It's more about like what you can make using all three of the souls that I'm more interested in. Avengers Emblem. Ooh. I can't wait for Avengers. That's going to be my thought. Now that we're in April, that's more what I care about. Uh, oh, this could be good. Oh, you need the... Oh, we already have a bone hammer. What I'm about is like, oh, we need the, oh, we need the bone hammer. We might not have one of those bad boys, but we do. I was thinking of the, the paladin's hammer. So, bone hammer. Is it called the bone hammer or the, yeah, it's called the ponage hammer. Very nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Uh, and let's else see what we can make. <laughs> I had no structure to that. The swan technical. Don't want to make that. Phoenix Blade. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here, really. Forbidden Oaf Blade. Oh, it sounds amazing. Sounds really cool. All right. That's all good. Oh, uh, so just some like world building stuff. I did build a new house. I've been trying to like add to this town very slowly. Uh, you may have noticed. I'm enjoying building. Maybe it's because I, you know, I had that itch to play Minecraft. <laughs> so I'm like building in Terraria. I had to build a shrine to our to our girl Dryad right at the top as well. Um, and I also built this water fountain. Uh, this is kind of like, I don't know, I feel like this is a bit of a meme, almost. Because I got shown some really awesome water fountain picks by Viz. Viz is the creator of um, the Sonic map, the Duck Hunt map. We've covered, you know, their stuff in the past. Um, and they sent me a picture of some really sick water fountains. So I built the quickest and easiest one I could find. Um, well, that I could come up with. So yeah, all right. Well, let's get reforging some stuff. I don't know how much money I've got. I don't think I got a lot of money. Let's see here. Um, okay. 11 gold. Strong? Ah, I probably should be reforging this more than out. Annoying. Forceful. Zelius. Unpleasant. 
Yeah, that's that's where that's coming to. So let's test this out anyway. Yeah, I thought it would just be this. Just a throwing hammer. Does it pierce? I don't think it pierces. Oh, it does. Oh, no. Because that could be really good for the... Well, I believe it could maybe be very good for the destroyer. We'd have to see. So let's get one of these bad boys. Let's zoom it on out. Let's give us some bad boy buffs. And, uh, and we'll wait a little second. But, um, yeah, going back to, like, the weekend and stuff, it was quite cool because I got to go see my sister's new house, as I was saying. And it's, like, her first bought house. And uh, and that's kind of cool. I mean, I come from, like, a big group of siblings. She's the first one that's ever bought a house. <laughs> We're all lower-class renters. So it was, it was quite cool to see. It was, like, a, it was a nice moment. It was, it was worth doing. But, yeah, it's because on Saturday, do you know, obviously I took my mum to bingo. I mentioned that. Uh, we took Courtney's mom to this really cool restaurant. They kind of messed a few things up, though. And after that, I was like, well, we're so close to home. Let's go there. And that's why I missed Saturday. Okay. Bam. Bam. This is more of a just a test run, really. Just kind of curious to see how this would go. The good thing is with this is it really defeats the, um, the little Orby dudes, doesn't it? Like, for that, it's brilliant. But for everything else, I, I don't feel like this is the best weapon. Simply because it doesn't pierce. And I feel like you'd need to pierce to, to win. We, you know, we might be able to do this. I'm going to be quiet, like I said, in the in the last Destroyer fight. And before the Skeletron one. I'm going to be super quiet, super chill, and focus my energies. But this is another fight I've got to do that I'm just not in the mood to do, truthfully. So let me get through it. All right, well, checking in. This fight's going great. And I'm really pleased, because like I said, I just wasn't in the mood for this one. Um, it, I think it's because I've been doing it for uh, for a few days now, kind of like on and off, you know, obviously trying to beat these mechanical bosses. And I have this like weird thing, because I don't usually struggle with mech bosses. I like get, I feel like I get irritated a little bit more at these bad boys, but that's all right, because this wormy boy, is about to, to bite the dust, right? But I tell you what, I thought I was going to bite the dust earlier. For real. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit of an exaggerated, uh, you know, perception of the story, but it is all true. Basically, I went and picked up Court from work. As many of you know, I often do. Now, a bird crapped on my car the other day, and I looked at it and I thought, I should probably get that cleaned at some point. Because that does not look so great. Especially because this it's a fairly new car. And I'm very proud of it. And a bird decided to, to have its way with my car. Which, you know, fair play to the bird. You've got to go somewhere right. We can't all be privileged to have a bowl to, to go in. So it picked my car. But anyway, I was on the way home. And like I was like, well, I think it's time to sort this issue out. This, this bird issue. Because it makes the car look disgusting. So I took my car to one of those drive-in car washes. I don't know if any of you have ever used these, because I know I haven't. I don't know anybody that ever uses these. They're like at the side of a garage, a garage or a petrol station, a fuel station, a gas station, pretty much everywhere, but I've never used them, right? And I was like, this is the time. God, the destroyer is dead, thank God. And like, all the way through, we were discussing, like, there must be a reason why people never use these things. Because nobody ever does. There must be a reason why. So, there was that little bit of anxiety going into it. Like, is this going to scratch my car? You know, blah, blah, blah. So, we're in it. And the thing, like, it, it adjusts to your car, which is scary. It's a very scary thought. Especially when you're in the car and the front glass is like being battered down by these little beaters to try and clean the car. So that part was uncomfortable and I could get over it, right? But it's when it, it brought down this metal pole. So imagine you sat in the driver's seat. There's a giant metal pole right in front of your face. And I believe what it was doing was like heating up what it had washed. And it was like adjusting to the, the size of the car. But it would only ever do it at the very last moment. So there was this point where this giant metal bar was about to like smack the glass right in front of my face. And then it shifted upwards a little bit. But for those fleeting moments, I was like, I'm going to die. It's just like, this is going to be in the news that James was killed by a car wash. Could you imagine? Oh my God. 
thinking back, that would have been perfect, right, for a freaky death, because we always talk about washing machines. If I'd have died in a washing-related incident, I think that would have been better, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get that sorted. But no, for real, I was like, actually terrified. I'll never use one of those nasty machines again. <laughs> it was a fiver as well. It did an alright job. It did an alright job. I've got a larger car now, so getting it hand clean costs more. It's a bit of a pain. So I was like, this is cheap. But no. Right, charred idol. <laughs> Use the brimstone crag. It's your own risk. Well, I definitely don't feel like doing that today. So I guess what we can do is deposit all of that. And then we'll actually get started on it. Because I need to go and uh, I need to go and harvest some of the stuff. I've been getting a lot of tweets recently about sunshine potions. A lot of people are uh, definitely wanting me to use them. It just makes your character look so uh, so ghostly. That's why I don't ever use them. I'm like, mobile users, hmm, I want you to see. But I'm also like, I want you to see me as me, not as me as a ghosty boy. So other than that, the weekend, yeah, it was taken over by the food market, really. A food market came to my city. It comes every once in a while, and I love it. I really, really love the food market. It's like a bunch of stalls with a bunch of foods from around the world, but they're all kind of like cliche. So you got like paella, you've got noodles. And I always go for the noodles. So I went there, it was Saturday. I had my noodles and I felt grand. Sunday rolls around, I'm thinking, ooh, you know, maybe shouldn't have eaten those noodles because obviously noodles are not that great for you. I had chicken and curry sauce on. It was very nice. Painting the picture. Got to paint the picture for you foodies out there. And then Sunday rolls around and I'm like, maybe more noodles. Maybe more. Oh, so I woke up in a, in a bit of a cold sweat the other day, panicking because I'd forgotten something, right? I needed one of those rememberals from Harry Potter, the little orb that changes red when you forgot something. Because this is no joke, because I recorded an episode, which is like the previous episode, episode 19. And it said in it, oh, I've got another segment of Chippy's Kitchen coming up, right? And I woke up in a cold sweat thinking, wait, did I actually tell them what I made or did I not? And like, I was like legitimately concerned about this. I almost got out of bed <laughs> to go to the computer to check. Oh, did I, did I tell people what I made? Because <laughs> I thought that's going to be so frustrating if I, if I say, oh, we've got some Chippy's Kitchen coming up and then there is none. I made spaghetti carbonara. It was delish. It was very, very nice. It was my first time making spaghetti carbonara. It was insanely easy. I, like, I've looked at it many a time at a restaurant and gone, ooh, I'd like to make that. I've never ordered it. So I was doing it completely blind of, like, what it actually should look and taste like. But I think I did it pretty well. If I remember the, how it went, it was like, cook some spaghetti and leave your spaghetti at the side, right? And then you had to, like, chop some garlic and, and probably, I don't know what else you had to cook. <laughs> It was basically like spaghetti with some garlic and some What else was in it? Oh, it was it was like egg. You had to put egg with it and some parmesan cheese That was pretty much it Right, so the charred idol I'm fairly certain is from these mad lads. So let me get out my hammer Very appropriate. I don't know how frequently these spawn in So if you were wanting a conclusion to the story, it was spaghetti carbonara and it was very nice. Oh, Parma ham. I put in some Parma ham. Essence of chaos. <laughs> the essence of chaotic enemies. I'm fairly certain you get these from these dudes. Yeah, there we go. Essence of chaos. Very nice. Very chaotic. So now that I've finished um, Origins, I'm on to Odyssey. I played an hour of it last night. It's fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. It's strange to go from one repetitive game to go to the next repetitive game that they're very clearly similar. You know, they just took the engine and slapped a new coat on it. <laughs> kind of like me trying to make uh, videos <laughs> eight years in. It's just the same thing, I slap a new coat on it. <laughs> but, um, but I'm enjoying it. I, I think I've just got one of these personalities that enjoys a little bit of repetition every once in a while. It's mindless. But it's very pretty as well, because I played it on my new TV, which I posted to Instagram, because I thought, I, I shared the story of buying the telly with the guy slapping the top. I was like, I have to share this telly. It's a very lovely telly. For him to tell me it was a, not a great telly, it really didn't kind of, um, didn't translate. You know what I mean? It did not translate at all. All right, we need five of these bad boys. We've got four. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is I will come back 
and I will... There was something for this, wasn't there? Alright, guys, help me with this train of thought. I'm fairly certain there was a new accessory, and I said during it, Oh, this is probably to help with brimstone. Can you guys remember what it was? If you do, please let me know, because I'm actually curious. Alright, so that's six, so... Six, six, six. Number of the beast. I will end it there for today. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and... um. And forgiving me while I've been away this weekend. I hope you've all had a great weekend yourself. Um, hope you got up to a lot of good stuff. I guess, to be fair, I was trying to get you to watch 40 minutes a day of chippy content, really. So, you probably, you know, you probably had a very productive weekend without me. Let's be real, right? Did you put anything off to watch? Well, you didn't have to. Do you get what I mean? Thank you all for watching, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow with some more Terraria. Uh, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, but if you do get the video to a 1,000 likes, it really helps. Let YouTube know that... <laughs> that I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.